In today's tech check, as the world awaits a COVID vaccine, the technology industry is moving forward with ways to keep us all safe. For more, we have Sharon Hong, the Vice President of Enterprise Technology at Motorola Solutions. What can you tell us? What's the latest happening with technology? Yeah, you know, with uh, COVID cases on the rise, you know, schools and businesses just continue to face challenges when it comes to protecting the health of both, not just us, but of our children as well. And so where technology comes into play is it serves as a proactive tool to take the guesswork out of managing some of the challenges in the pandemic, such as minimizing the number of people in a given space, making sure people are wearing face masks and that they're social distancing, and frankly, just give people some peace of mind as they're returning to elements of life during a pandemic. How will this information and data these technologies provide be used? You know, a lot of this information really is used by schools and businesses to evaluate the effectiveness of uh, their safety policies. So for instance, if you think about a school or a hotel and how people move throughout the building, you know, people can naturally congregate um, in certain areas. And what the information does is it gives you the businesses and, and schools a way to evaluate the traffic patterns that they have um, in the building to and strategically change that so that people don't naturally bunch in those places and help uh, prevent the spread of the virus. Should people be concerned though that these technologies pose a risk to our privacy? No, you know, I mean, um, you know, at the end of the day, this technology is not only about keeping people safe, but also enhancing the safety operations that are already in place um, by a school or a business. So if you think about, you know, how we do contact tracing, for example, you know, contact tracing technology can help us identify within minutes the people and surfaces that an infected individual have come into contact with and help us to quickly, um, you know, prevent the spread of the virus and ideally, um, hopefully, help keep businesses and schools open as a result. What are some of the other technologies available for businesses and schools? Sure, you know, we talked about uh, video in this case, but when you pair up video with other technologies like radio, for example, you know, the combination of these technologies can help us expand how we keep people safe and quickly identify, for example, if somebody is on school grounds when they shouldn't be or quickly, you know, find a missing student. Um, you know, when it comes to technology and safety, the time that technology can help you uh, save sometimes makes all the difference in the world. So if you want to find out more, go to MotorolaSolutions.com slash COVID tech to find out more information. Really great to learn what's happening in tech. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to BusinessFirstAM.com for where to see our show on TV.